When we open up Excel, we're greeted with the start screen and then we click blank workbook. But do we really want a blank workbook? Well, probably not because every time we enter a title and then change the font and then make it bold and then underline it and do this on lots of different sheets and create all the sheets that we normally use. So wouldn't it be better if Excel started with those things already created? Then we wouldn't need to make them every single time. And that's what we're looking at in this video. How can we create a template that opens up every time that we start Excel? So if you're ready, let's get started. Here in Excel, I have my perfect workbook layout. It has everything formatted and all the pages that I want. So I have overview, settings, error checks, data, report, and output table. These are all the pages that I need. So all I have to do is to save this workbook as a template into a specific file location with a specific name. So let's go and find out what the specific location is that we need to use. To do that, we go up to File and then Options. Then in the Excel Options, we go to Trust Center and then Trust Center Settings. Then in Trusted Locations, we can find the Excel startup folder. It's the one that starts C users marks. That's my username. So that is the file that I need. I'll then click modify so I can copy this file path. I'll copy that, click cancel, and then I can click cancel again. Now there's another change that we need to make and that is to stop the startup screen opening. To do that, we go to general, then we scroll to the bottom and we have show the start screen when this application starts. I'll uncheck that and then click OK. Right, we're now ready to save our Excel workbook. So I'll press F12 to bring up the Save As screen. Then I'm going to change this to an Excel template, so an XLTX. Then at the top, I'm going to paste the file path that we created before. Now I just need to change the name of my workbook to Book. So it must be the name book and it needs to be inside this folder. And then I'll click save. Okay, now let's close Excel and reopen it. Now when we open Excel, we don't see the start screen and it creates a new workbook using our template. Now let's go and add a new worksheet. So I'll add a worksheet. Oh, it's just a plain standard worksheet. Wouldn't it be great if this also had the format that we wanted? So what we need to do is to create a workbook that contains a single sheet. So I'm going to delete everything apart from the report sheet. I'll delete those, click delete. Then I will rename report as sheet. And let's just give this the name sheet as well. Now let's go and save this workbook. So again, I'll press F12 to bring up the save as options. We'll change this to an Excel template. And we're going to save this in the same location as before. But rather than book, we're now going to call it sheet. So it must be called sheet and it must be saved in this location. I'll then click save. Right, now let's close Excel and reopen it once again. So when it opens, we don't see the start screen. It creates a workbook from our template. And when we create a new sheet, that sheet is created using our sheet template. That's fantastic. So now we have a template for our workbook and for creating additional sheets. Now, what happens if we want to create a workbook while we're already in an instance of Excel? Well, we go to File and then New and we have Blank Workbook. We can select that, but it just gives us a blank workbook. That's not what we want. We want to be able to create a workbook from our template. So what we're going to do is to create a shortcut to our original book template. I'll press F12 to open the Save As dialog box. And then I'm going to go to Template. Now Excel automatically finds the folder where we save templates. So if we want to save a template, we can save it in here. But we've already created our template. So what we're going to do is to create a shortcut to our template. So I'll right click, go to New, and then go to Shortcut. In here, I'm going to paste the location that we copied before, and we want book.xltx. I'll select that and then click Next, and then we can call this Book Template, and then I'll click Finish. 
So that now creates a shortcut to our template. I don't actually need this window, I can click cancel. So now if I want to, I can create a new workbook by going to file, then under new, I can find personal, and in there I have my book template. So I can click book template, and that will now create a workbook using my template. And that's it, a nice simple technique for creating a template so that Excel creates new workbooks and new sheets using the formats that we want to use. If you like this video, click there to subscribe and then click there, that's the awesome video you really want to watch next. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.